Hamquaya says the nine projects in question have been implemented at community level to help communities deal with the impact of climate change. Uh, these are specific uh, projects that uh, aim to allow our communities to adapt to the issue of climate change. Number two, that they are able to be capacitated to also uh, address those issues uh, on their own. And also then at the end of the day is to looking at the issue of food security. Most of these projects that are implemented here in Namibia is uh, looking at the issue of food security. They are looking at the issue of uh, water challenges that we are uh, facing in Namibia in particular. And they are also looking at the issues of forestry. On her part, the executive director of SASCAL emphasized the important role science and research play in dealing with climate change, describing them as services needed by societies that are most severely affected by climate change. Research is the basis for any country's development. Without research, there is no innovation. Without research, you cannot partake in international debates and other things. So what we've done, we've increased the research and funding, 23 million until 2018, 2.2 .2 million for African Union, you've seen it, 10 million for the research on climate change, H2 Atlas, SJSP, and the JCOI, 40 million. Increasing research funding is a fundamental impact that SASCO has done. Recently, SASCAL also launched the first Green Hydrogen Atlas Southern Africa results, which provides evidence-based information on different resources for the production of green hydrogen. This information includes water resources, land availability, renewable energy resources, and the levelized cost of hydrogen production and other key indicators like social policy framework export and transport, and political and energy regulatory framework. So our hope was to make sure that the ATRAS is now advising our governments and industry on how and where and how much can green hydrogen be produced but should not be brought in with disadvantages on, on other sectors that are important for us. At the occasion, it was also revealed that government will avail about $30 million towards the construction of Saskal's headquarters in Ventuk. Director, that is uh, 